Um, last time you were here, we were talking about how you're always on the, you're always on the quest for a perfect chocolate chip cookie. Yes. I told you that I made the best chocolate chip cookie, and I baked a bunch for you. <gasps> no oh, yeah. way! Yeah. Yeah. So I did have chip cookies. You got That's, that. Yeah. I'm going with this Go guy with right here. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, in my kitchen, and um, I've got the Real Housewives on, and I'm about to bake cookies for my best friend Carla Gugino because she loves a chocolate chip cookie with or without nuts. I'm gonna make a little of both. Wish me luck. So I'm trying to have like all of my ingredients sort of measured out ahead of time, so I'm measuring it out. Comes the flour, and then, huh? Come on in. Are you talking to me? No, I'm talking to the camera that I'm Oh my at. God, I thought you were talking to me. This is amazing. Hi. What's going on here? <laughs> Teaspoon baking soda. Next, I'm going to beat together the um, butter and the sugar. So I've got a cup of um, granulated sugar, two sticks of butter. You know, it really is true what they say. Have the butter room temperature. It's not the same if you if you have it too cold or if. Um, if you melt it, it, it just it ruins the whole thing. Um, so now I'm adding the brown sugar, which is a half a cup of packed dark brown sugar to um, the two sticks of butter and the one cup of granulated sugar. And now I'm gonna beat this for about three minutes until it's nice and creamy. So one egg plus one egg white. Okay. Adding two uh, teaspoons of pure vanilla extract in with the egg and the egg white and the batter. And we're just going to mix that together. Don't forget to scrape down the side of the bowl. You see how helpful my family is? They will be here as soon as these are out of the oven, but I couldn't get anybody to volunteer to hold the camera. Now we're gonna work in batches and incorporate our flour mixture into our egg and butter mixture. So just working in batches, you can just a little bit at a time, add in your flour mixture. You don't wanna add too much, I like it. It's everywhere. I'm gonna show you what we've made. We've blended in all of our good stuff together. We've got this gorgeous, um, mix. We're to add the best part, which would be the chocolate chips. So, we're safe. Oh, look at that. Oh, that kind of works. And you just want to fold in the chocolate chips, make them gooey and delicious. <gasps> My kids get excited when it's like mostly chocolate and just like a little you know, like, it's a chocolate chip hiding as batter. Um, sorry, I'm getting text messages while this is happening. So while we had our oven preheated at 375 degrees, we're now gonna take, um, I like to take the little um, tablespoon, and I like to um, take my ungreased cookie sheet. You can put parchment paper on it, but you don't really need to because there's so much you know, there's so much stuff, there's so much butter and stuff. Um, and you wanna place them like an inch and a half and apart on the plate, but I just take one of these, um, like a teaspoon, tablespoon scoop, and I tablespoon it onto the plate. And it's really well, delicious. Here's um, how they look on the tray. I'll show you this. <laughs> because the oven is broken, I don't even understand how that happens. So now I have to put them in the little tiny, you know, the little side oven on these little tiny baby trays. I, I, um, I hope I make it into work on time uh, tomorrow. Okay. I took them out of the oven. I baked them um, for
for, I'd say, 11 minutes. Show them. Um, there they are. Uh, they're a little browner than I typically like. Um, but oddly enough, look what appeared as soon as they <laughs> came out of the oven. The man, the man child who could not hold the camera. Because Can I film it for you? Um, what do you think? They smell good? Explain how they smell. They smell like cookies. What's the verdict? They're really good. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna cool off. Are they too hot for your milk? Mm -hmm.